Welcome back to the Grim Ripper. Today is Saturday. We like to call this Saturday's Rip with Grim. Uh, if you like the video, hit that like button. Check us out on Patreon. Also, check out our website, thegrimrippersden.com. That is where you can buy into the sponsorships. And if you do buy into a sponsorship for a video, then you get all of the cards from that video. So check us out there. We do have, I think, uh, seven products on there right now for you to choose from some blaster boxes and whatnot. But tonight, we're going to be opening this 1986 Donruss Baseball Highlights set. So this highlight set commemorates special events and milestones of the 1986 season. The set's going to include Gooden, Boggs, Mattingly, Clemens, Canseco, and many other superstars. They're arranged in chronological order. Hmm, interesting. Oh, and it's sealed inside. Dear Collector. Oh, that's nice. You play an important role in our baseball program. We want you to be satisfied with your purchase. Nice. Card number one. We'll start here where it says card number one. I don't think I've ever looked at a highlights set from Donruss, so this will be the first time I have ever looked through one of these little sets. They used to put them out each year seems like back in the 80s but I never bought a set and never even looked through a set back then we do get some puzzle pieces ah and it's a look just a little miniature puzzle it's not just the pieces it's the full puzzle check that out nice Hank Aaron Hall of Fame Diamond King so I'm not going to split that one apart I'll leave it all connected but that's a cool little puzzle and we'll go backwards through these so we can see the pictures as we go along there's the checklist yeah April 8th Will Clark interesting here we go there's Jose Canseco he was the American League Rookie of the Year, according to Donruss. Donruss American League Rookie of the Year. There's Todd Worrell, National League Rookie of the Year. Yankee record for hits and doubles, Don Mattingly. There's Donnie Baseball. Dave Rigetti shatters the Major League save mark in 1986. John Cangalosi, American League record for steals by a rookie that season. And uh, if you ever get one of these sets, it tells the whole story of what they did to get the record or do whatever they did to be on a highlight card. Steve Sachs, player of the month for September. There's Mike Kruckow. He was the National League Pitcher of the Month for September. <clears throat> Don Mattingly, American League Player of the Month for September. One thing I like about these highlight sets like this, you see a lot of players that didn't get to the Hall of Fame and some that you may have even forgotten existed, but they did great things for their teams in those seasons to help their teams win games and maybe even playoffs or World Series. So even those we forget about play an important role on the teams. There's Bruce Hurst, American League Pitcher of the Month. Mike Scott, his no-hitter clinches the division. See, for example, Mike Scott. Who really remembers Mike Scott? But at the time, he played a great game, got a no-hitter, and that clinched the division for the Astros that year. So that's pretty cool. There's Jim Deshays. He made a highlight reel. Sets Major League Strikeout Record. Check that out. Jim Deshays sets the Major League Strikeout le uh, Record on September the 23rd. That's pretty cool. Hmm. Nice. Joe Crowley, or Joe Cowley, Major's first no-hitter in two years. There you go. Ah, Bo Jackson, excellent. Longest home run in Royals Stadium. 
That's a highlight. What date did he do that? On September the 14th. You can probably go on YouTube and look that one up. September 14th of 1986. You can see his 475 foot home run. I'll bet that's on YouTube. And Joe Carter, he sets the tribe's offensive record. Dale Murphy, player of the month for August. National League Pitcher of the Month, Bill Gullickson for August. There's Doug DeCincy's American League Player of the Month. And Mike Witt, American League Pitcher of the Month. Juan Samuel records his third quadruple double. What's a quadruple double? Does anybody know what that is? Let's see... That gave him 10 home runs for the season to go with his 10 triples, 27 doubles, and 34 stolen bases. It marked the third straight season that Samuel had achieved double figures in those four categories. There you go. That's impressive. Impressive stuff. Mike Schmidt surpasses Joe DiMaggio's record. Reach back in time on August 13th for extra base hits. He eclipsed Joe DiMaggio for extra base hits. Steve Carlton notches his 4,000th strikeout. That's a lot of strikeouts. Willie McCovey inducted into the Hall of Fame in 1986. Ernie Lombardi, Hall of Fame, inducted in 1986. Bobby Doerr put into the Hall of Fame in 1986. There's Burt Blylevin. He recorded his 3,000th strikeout. This is a pretty neat little set of cards. Eric Davis, July's Player of the Month for the National League. Todd Worrell, Pitcher of the Month for July in the National League. Scott Fletcher, Notch's Player of the Month for the American League in July. And Jack Morris is the American League Pitcher of the Month for July. Here we go. Fernando Valenzuela ties the All-Star Game record. Daryl Strawberry starts in his third straight All-Star Game. He was one of the greats at the time for the Mets. Wally Joyner, starting All-Star Rookie in 1986. Bob Horner blasts four home runs in a single game. That's an excellent record. Here we go, our Players of the Month, National League Player of the Month, Kevin Bass for June. Rick Roden was the National League Pitcher of the Month in June. Kent Herbeck took home Player of the Month for the American League that in June. And Roger Clemens, Pitcher of the Month in 1986. He had not been around long at that point in the majors there you go he started the 1986 season 14 and 0 for the red sox that's impressive don sutton got his 300th career win in 1986 and hubie brooks here we go player of the month for the national league in may pitcher of the month for the national league in may was jeff reardon We've got Wade Boggs, Hall of Famer Wade Boggs, Player of the Month in May for the American League. Don Ace was Pitcher of the Month, American League. Here's Wade Boggs again. First five-hit game of his career came in 1986. Five hits in a game. Impressive. Reggie Jackson eclipses Mickey Mantle home run record in 1986. Oh, that's nice right there. Excellent. I think that, isn't that Mickey Mantle on the picture with him, handing over the uh, little trophy there? I don't know if or that's the commissioner. I can't tell. I don't think that's Mickey Mantle. I think that's probably the baseball commissioner of the time. All right. Johnny Ray was the player of the month for the National League in April. Dwight Gooden, pitcher of the month for the National League. 
There we go. Hall of Famer Kirby Puckett was Player of the Month in April for the American League. And Roger Clemens, Pitcher of the Month for April American League. Woo, Roger Clemens, look at all those Ks. This must be a strikeout highlight. Yes, it was. His fastball darting through the Fenway Park night like a revolver's bullet. Boston's Roger Clemens made baseball history on April 29th by striking out 20 Seattle Mariners. Check that out. And there's the Phillies RBI leader, Hall of Famer Mike Schmidt for 1986. Hall of Famer George Brett, the Royals' all-time hitman. Jose Rio, Oakland milestone for strikeouts. And finally, Will Clark homers in his first at-bat in the majors in 1986. So there we go. That's the Donruss highlight set. I rather enjoyed that little trip down memory lane. A lot of great highlights from the 1986 season. Hope all of you enjoyed that as well. Thanks again for dropping by and supporting the channel. We'll catch everybody for the start of a new week tomorrow. That's going to be the uh, Grimm's Day of Leisure. We'll just be ripping some packs at our leisure on that day. So we'll catch everybody then. I hope you're having a great weekend. Have a wonderful evening. We'll catch you next time.